Magandang araw mga kasipnayan! Welcome to Sir Opnik's YouTube channel. In this video, we will illustrate a Fibonacci and harmonic sequence and we will solve for the missing terms in a harmonic sequence. Let us start with the definition of a Fibonacci sequence. The Fibonacci sequence is named after Leonardo Pisano, also known as Leonardo Pisano or Fibonacci. He is an Italian mathematician who lived from 1170 to 1250. Each term in the Fibonacci sequence is the sum of the two terms that precedes it. Here is an example of a Fibonacci sequence. 1, 1, 2, 3, 5, 8, 13, 21, and 34. To get the third term, you simply add the two numbers, 1 plus 1, that is equal to 2, 2 plus 1, that is equal to 3, 3 plus 2, that is equal to 5, 5 plus 3, that is equal to 8, 8 plus 5 is equal to 13, 13 plus 8 is equal to 21, 21 plus 13 is equal to 34, and so on. Following the rule in the Fibonacci sequence, identify the next three terms. First example, 4, 4, 8, and 12. The next three terms are 20, 32, and 52. Second example, 6, 6, 12, and 18. The next three terms are 30, 48, and 78. Third example, 10, 10, 20, 30. The next three terms are 50, 80, 130. Negative 1, negative 1, negative 2, negative 3. The next three terms are negative 5, negative 8, and negative 13. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 1, 1.5. The next three terms are 2.5, 4, and 6.5. 3x, 3x, 6x, and 9x. The next three terms are 15x, 24x, and 39x. Let us now define a harmonic sequence. A harmonic progression or harmonic sequence is a progression formed by taking the reciprocals of an arithmetic progression. For example, we have 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 sixth, and 1 eighth. Taking the reciprocals of the terms, we have 2, 4, 6, and 8. The difference between each term is positive 2. Since they have a common difference which is positive 2, therefore, 2, 4, 6, and 8 is an arithmetic sequence. If 2, 4, 6, and 8 is an arithmetic sequence, we therefore conclude that its reciprocal, 1 half, 1 fourth, 1 sixth, and 1 eighth, is an example of a harmonic sequence. Let us now find the 15th term of the harmonic sequence 1 8, 1 over 11, and 1 over 14. So the first thing to do is to get the reciprocals of the given sequence. So we have 8, 11, and 14. Using the explicit formula for arithmetic sequence, which is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus n minus 1 times d, we will then have a sub 1, which is equal to 8, and n is equal to 15, d is equal to 11 minus 8, or simply 3. Substituting the given values, we will then have a sub 15 is equal to 8 plus 15 minus 1 times 3 which is equal to 8 plus 14 times 3, or 8 plus 42, or simply 50. Since the 15th term of the arithmetic sequence 8, 11, 14 is 50, we therefore conclude that the 15th term of the harmonic sequence given is equal to 1 over 50, which is the reciprocal of 50. Find the 13th term of the harmonic sequence, 
1 over 14, 1 over 10, and 1 over 6. The arithmetic sequence of the given harmonic is 14, 10, and 6. Using the explicit formula, we have a sub 1 is equal to 14, n is equal to 13, and d is equal to 10 minus 14 or simply negative 4. Substituting the given values to the explicit formula, we will then have a sub 13 is equal to 14 plus quantity 13 minus 1 times negative 4. Or simply, 14 plus 12 times negative 4 or 14 plus negative 48 which is equal to negative 34. Since the 13th term of the arithmetic sequence is negative 34, we therefore conclude that the 13th term of the given harmonic sequence is equal to negative 1 over 34, which is the reciprocal of negative 34. Find the 11th term of the harmonic sequence, negative 1 over 12, negative 1 over 5, 1 half. The corresponding arithmetic sequence of the given harmonic sequence is equal to negative 12, negative 5, and positive 2. Using the explicit formula, we will then have a sub 1 is equal to negative 12, n is equal to 11, and d is equal to negative 5 minus negative 12, or simply positive 7. Substituting the given values, we will then have a sub 11 is equal to negative 12 plus quantity 11 minus 1 times 7 is equal to negative 12 plus 10 times 7 or simply negative 12 plus 70 which is equal to 58. Therefore, the 11th term of the corresponding arithmetic sequence is 58. Get the reciprocal of 58 that will be the 11th term of the given harmonic sequence which is equal to 1 over 58. Find the 13th term of the harmonic sequence negative 1 over 5, negative 1 over 7, and negative 1 over 9. The corresponding arithmetic sequence of the given harmonic sequence is equal to negative 5, negative 7, and negative 9. Using the explicit formula, we will then have a sub 1 is equal to negative 5, n is equal to 13, and d is equal to negative 7 minus negative 5, or simply negative 2. Substituting the given values, we will then have a sub 13 is equal to negative 5 plus quantity 13 minus 1 times negative 2. Simplifying the operation inside the parentheses, we will then have negative 5 plus 12 times negative 2 which is equal to negative 5 minus 24 or simply negative 29. Since the 13th term of the arithmetic sequence is equal to negative 29, you get the reciprocal that will be the 13th term of the harmonic sequence given, which is equal to negative 1 all over 29. Let us now check your knowledge. Solve for what is asked in each item. Do not forget to pause the video while you are answering the activity. Let us now check your work. Find the 18th term of the harmonic sequence, negative 1, negative 1 over 6, and negative 1 over 11. The corresponding arithmetic sequence of the harmonic sequence given is equal to negative 1, negative 6, and negative 11. Using the explicit formula, we will then have a sub 1 equals negative 1, n is equal to 18, and d is equal to negative 6 minus negative 1, or simply negative 5. Substituting the given values to the explicit formula, we will then have a sub 18 is equal to negative 1 plus quantity 18 minus 1 times negative 5. Simplifying the operation inside the parentheses, we will then have negative 1 plus 17 times negative 5, or simply negative 1 plus negative 105 which is equal to negative 106. That means that the 18th term of the corresponding arithmetic sequence of the given harmonic sequence is negative 106. Get the reciprocal of negative 106, which is equal to negative 1 over 106, 
that will be the 18th term of the given harmonic sequence. Find the 17th term of the harmonic sequence 1 over 12, 1 over 15, and 1 over 18. The corresponding arithmetic sequence of the given harmonic sequence is equal to 12, 15, and 18. The value of a sub 1 is equal to 12, n is equal to 17, and d is equal to 15 minus 12, or simply 3. Substituting the given values to the explicit formula, we will then have a sub 17 is equal to 12 plus quantity 17 minus 1 times 3. Simplifying the parentheses, we will have 12 plus 16 times 3, or simply 12 plus 48, which is equal to 62. That means that the 17th term of the given arithmetic sequence is equal to 62. Getting the reciprocal of 62, which is equal to 1 over 62, will be the 17th term of the given harmonic sequence. Thank you for watching Sir Ocknick's YouTube channel. If you think that this video is a big help, hit like, feel free to share, and do not forget to subscribe. Always enjoy learning mathematics.